Boom, boom. This is Kenra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, we got a little bit more about the Mobile Legends adventure and the collab that they had that ticked everybody off because it was a pay to win, clearly a pay to uh, win event. So the collab was with uh, Don Machi. A lot of people didn't know what Don Machi meant. Uh, it's is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon is what the anime is called uh, they have a game called Don Machi Memorial Freeze uh, and inside of that game was all the characters from is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon okay so that's what I was my reference to Don Machi was a reference to the game like this game and it's called Don Machi Memorial Freeze uh, it's still going on actually so anyway uh, that's what I was referring to in that event, okay? So anyway, there was an outcry, a uh, large outcry. A lot of people left the game, threatened to leave the game. Don't know what I did. But anyway, uh, they ended up coming up with uh, a little bit of a sort of, uh, it sort of extended the hand, uh, and they came out here with this... Uh, compensation CD key. Now what this did, the reason that the, the, the game was paid to win is because to get the actual items that you needed to summon on this character, you needed to pay money. The only way they were available. Uh, and it was inside of the uh, inside of the Wishing Shrine uh, is where it was located at. So that's why it was considered pay to, pay to play. So if you go, that's not that Fusion Shrine, let's go inside the Wishing Shrine. Inside the Wishing Shrine right here, um, you'll see that uh, the summon takes these uh, items and you can only get them inside the Mirage Pass, but you can only get them inside of the paid Mirage Pass, which is this bottom core here, which costs $29.99 to unlock. So that was the only way you could get them. They didn't offer them anywhere up here. As you can see, I've almost completed the basic. I complete these every time they come up. Uh, you know, I just play the game enough. So, so that's why you couldn't, you know, so you had to pay to get those uh, items to actually do the summon. Uh, they're called Precious Gems, okay? Now, what they did was you could get, you could get some of these, uh, but not enough to do the full summon <laughs> to get the guarantee for the character. Uh, and, of course, all of these, you're going to have to pay tons of money to get uh, enough of the precious gems to actually make this character but what they did so they came out with the CD key uh, and this CD key gave you some of the gems and it gave you combined with what you can get inside the game it gave you enough to actually get another copy of Bell so but it's still completely pay to win uh, these are only pay to now uh, they came out with eyes who's the second one you got Bell Cradell and uh, you got uh, the sword princess eyes so Ice Wallenstein actually. So those two are uh, dual. They're dual source characters. Uh, Bell is of course martial and elemental. Eyes is light and elemental. Okay. So different types of characters and do different thing. Uh, Bell's a, a, an attacker. He front line and he'll heal himself. Uh, Eyes is uh, she jumps to the back line. She's a target a target like that. So. That's what I think they do. <laughs> there are other characters in the game that do the same thing, so it's not really necessary uh, to get these characters. If you, you know, that's, you know, it's either here or there. So, you know, once the event ends, you won't be able to uh, to do anything uh, with these. Excuse me. After the event ends, you and this is Hestia. This is the order. So there's three characters. There's Bell eyes and then there's Hestia. Hestia is an order character. She is of course the best out of all of them. Uh, but as you can see, you're not going to be able to get her. She's not going to be in the Prophecy Summon. Um, so you have to get these Chase Fire Spikes, which uh, you, can, you have to pay for. Okay, so you're, so you're not going to get, and they did not give you a free copy of her. You got a free, one free copy of Belle, one free copy of Eyes when, they, when the characters were introduced. But Premium Summon, Miracle Summon, Prophecy Summon. Okay, the only way to really summon uh, Sacred Oath or Friendship. So none of the summoning items will actually work uh, for the characters, okay? Now, I'm hearing that they may 
be ways to uh, level them up afterwards. It's not going to be through the summons. Uh, but I have not been able to confirm that, so I'm not going to bring that up at this particular time. So as it stands right now, it, what you get inside of the event is what you're going to be stuck with. So until uh, if they do another collab, when they do another collab, you'll be able to get more copies and level them up after that, but you're looking at a couple of years to level them up, which is just ridiculous. Uh, the characters aren't that good. There's None of them are going to be introduced into it into the top meta right now uh, of Order and Chaos characters. So there's no need to worry about that. Uh, so that's what they did. So they did come out with a with key to find it. As I said, go to events, go to community, and you'll hear the key to key rewards. And that'll be able to get uh, uh, 20 more of them. That combined with what they have in the game, and you'll be able to get an extra copy uh, of Bell. So, or you can use it on eyes. It doesn't matter. I used it on Bell because I'm not going to be using any of the characters, so it really didn't matter to me. Uh, you know, I've been focusing on Bell uh, simply because he's Marshall. My team is Marshall. Well, my main team is Marshall, so that's the reason I went ahead and threw it in the Bell. Even though I don't really technically need a frontliner in the Marshall. Okay. Uh, either way, that's what I did with it. So that's where we're at. So the event has not changed. It's still pay to win. They just made it seem a little bit, they just made it nicer because of the outcry. Uh, and there has been a pretty large outcry because uh, that's the first time that they've ever had uh, an event where it was, uh, you know, clearly pay to win. I mean, you can get all the best characters in the game. For instance, in this Warrior Shop event, uh, I've got, I've already got one copy of Oberon. He is the, you know, one of the best characters in the game. He's a tank. Uh, order. Um, this was basically you get either or. You don't want to get you don't want to get uh, um, uh, Emma Trasu simply because of the fact that you can get her for free inside of the shop. Okay, uh, I'll show you that again here in a few minutes. So basically, the Taurus was for Apostate, uh, Apostate or Oberon. Uh, one's a tank. Okay, uh, you know a fighter. The other one was a mage. Marksman, actually. So she's distance. She goes in the back line. Uh, so it's basically whatever you need. Okay, that's the, what you should have chosen. I'm working on a tank uh, for my Order Chaos team. Uh, I need a tank for my Order Chaos team. Uh, and Oberon was uh, uh, an option that I was looking at, so I was very happy to see him in there. Um, they each have uh, the events. You'll be able to get a copy of them through these events. Uh, I've already completed Bell's, of course, and I'll be completing hers within the next few days. Um, I need 18, so I'll be completing her in uh, three days. I'll have her complete. It's got nine days left on the event, so I'll, play, we'll compl I'll you know, complete it in plenty of time to actually do. But this way, you need to get another copy of her uh, so that you can make it a little bit powerful. But basically, you're going to look at you're going to look at a red seven star. Basically, which is five stars. You combine two five stars, you make a six star. Um, you know, but these are dual sense characters, which means it takes two emblems to make one copy, which you then uh, exchange it to another copy. So, a little bit longer on the actual uh, leveling up. But I've already completed several dual sense characters, uh, and they're very good. Uh, I, I look at it this way: I look at regular characters, okay, uh, then your dual class characters uh, and then the order chaos okay so dual class are just a little bit better than some of the regular characters a little bit higher okay not a lot a little bit and right, then you got order and chaos which are a little bit above the dual class characters okay but um they're all they're all very good in terms of that so uh, your dual class characters are down here as you can see um, I've already maxed out Nimbus Udora. Okay, she's maxed. Okay, uh, I'm starting to work on uh, Miracle Clara. You should work on Miracle Clara. She will be an excellent uh, add addition to a dark team, not a martial team. The martial class already has the best healer in the game in Nana. Nana is the best healer in the game because she revives dead characters. I don't know how long Zylong has bought the bullet and she's healed him and he come back in. She resurrects him and he's alive and they keep <laughs> she's the best healer in the game, okay? 
Miracle Clara has an excellent skill set allowing immortality for a certain length of time. Uh, so she's definitely something that you want to go for a dark team. Okay? Because uh, she's still sent. She's uh, dark and martial. I don't know why they're focusing on martial so much. Uh, three of the duels are, are martial, which is great because that's what my prime team is, is martial. But, yeah, so you want to go for Milka Clara to get her. She'll be an excellent healing for the dark team. Okay? Uh, you know, get her and use her. So she's one I'm working on right now. As you can see, I've got her awakened. Uh, but now I've got it, you know, I've got it, you know, do the eight levels of awakening to finally max her out. But she's available inside of the um, Prophecy Summons, so you're guaranteed to get her in the Prophecy Summon. Or not the Prophecy Summon, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, the Prophecy Summon. You're guaranteed to get Miracle Clara on the draws in this. Okay? Not every time, but, you know, generally once or tw I think the most I've ever had to pull is three times before I hit it. Okay? It looks like I'm going to have to do three times on this one. Could it be a four? No, third time. Got it. So I'm guaranteed to get Clara in this. So right there with Clara. Um, and it's only 28, so it's not you know not that big of a deal compared to the 5,000 uh, that it is to summon for your order. So, But you only get five of these a month. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so but I'll you know it'll take me it'll take me a few months uh, to get her up. Uh, you're looking at um, you know getting her. You, you do get her in other draws as well, and she's offered it. She'll be offered in events and whatnot, so you'll be able to get her a little bit faster. But um, yeah, it, you know it'll take me six seven months to get her to to full max. But she's yeah she's one of the best characters in the game, so she's definitely something. This is not Nimbus Udora. This is uh, this is uh, uh, just the regular base Adora. Uh They've been making the dual class characters. Uh, they based on some of the earlier characters uh, and make just to make them better. Okay. Uh, see, this is Nana. Nana always gets picked. As I said, Nana is the best healer in the game. This is my Nana. I'm going to approve Proto Vic to use Nana in his as. So he, for the next two weeks, he'll be able to utilize her to help him. She's the best healer of the game. She's, her, her resurrect is just ridiculous, um, uh, and she does it. And it just—it's not a single proc guy. <laughs> it procs I've seen Zylong long come back two or three times <laughs> at some of the higher levels. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty high along in the story, so it's not unusual that uh, you know I'm starting to face. Things are a little bit. I'm up in uh, 58, story mode 58. Um, so you know things things can get a little uh, tissy, but she's definitely the best in the game. Uh, so yeah, so no, this is still a pay-to-win event. They just made it a little bit nicer. Okay, I hope that makes it clear. Um, and Don Machi was a reference to the mobile game based on is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon you can find that game it's called Don Machi Memori a freeze you can download it it's on the play store I played it for a while don't play it anymore um, they lost they, they started to come out with newer characters the newer characters were much better than the previous characters and it got to the point where you needed to consistently build new teams uh, and the game's not really set up to support that without paying uh, so that's why I jumped it out, but I did pay it for I did play it for quite some time. I had a, a second generation maxed out team, uh, and I was actually pretty good. But <laughs> you know, it got to the point where uh, the newer characters were just better than the older characters, and they didn't do anything to bring the older characters up to, you know, like buff them up or change their skill sets to make them competitive with the newer characters they just forgot about them basically uh so that's what was that's what what happened with that so i stopped playing the game because it just became too much of too much of a hassle basically it's no longer fun uh so yeah so i left the game and i haven't played it since then um but it's out there if you want to try it i mean it is a nice time killer especially if you like the uh the anime 
the anime is into its, I think it's third or fourth season. The anime is excellent. Uh, as I'm not fond of the game, I said, but the anime is excellent. Uh, it's one of my favorite animes. Uh, so I, you know, and I'll be watching it when it comes out. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons that, uh, that there were a lot of people upset about this because this is an exceedingly popular anime very very popular anime um it's watched by a lot of people uh it it has very good viewership and the manga sells well uh so when they came out with the collab everybody was like oh we can get an eyes and we can get a bell and you know uh and then we assumed it was going to be a, a regular tinted mage uh, because in the regular Tinted Mage, you can actually use crystals, to, the summons were crystals. You could use crystals, you know, and you could work through, you could work through this. You could work through this using crystals. You know, there was nothing special. You didn't need a special, you know, item to do it. It's just how much you wanted to spend crystals. Granted, you'd have to spend a lot of crystals to go all the way through it, but you could it and you didn't have to worry about completing it because when the game was over when the titan mirage was over the character is in the, the in the wishing shrine you know clara was they had a tinted mage for clara okay i got clara to like you know almost you know and then now i'm awakening her so and i'm doing it after the tinted mirage you know, i'm not gonna be able to do that with bell or eyes or hestia uh well hestia would be done from the sacred oath because order and chaos come from here but again crystals okay so you can summon them with the crystals plus you can actually get these uh oath summon you can get them the, in, all pretty much all of the events for rewards they're they're in there somewhere um you won't have any trouble getting oath summons uh it does it's not it's a very low drop rate okay uh don't don't spend crystals on it um it's just not worth it the the rate is too low just use the sacred oath summons which you'll be able to get okay so it's not like they're hard okay so uh, just play the events and you'll be able to, most of the events at least one or two events all the time have those as rewards as well as some of the normal uh items you can get them um they're inside of the several of the shops so uh, it's not something that you need to work about uh not not shops the market um let me see they're in the not in the air but you want to get these in here uh they're in the cloud depot right here i complete this every time it's out and I, so i get 10 right here uh you know they're all over the place just look through all these stores and you'll find them okay they're you know they're they're tucked away uh, and you'll be able to get them plus special the the events that they have you'll be able to get them that way as well so they're they're obtainable but yeah you, you know bell and eyes you know once i get a final word of how they'll be able to level up these characters after the event uh, i'll definitely mention it uh but yeah uh, other than that it's, it's paid so if you want to go through it you're going to have to purchase anybody but you can get them up to two or three um seven star to red two red three uh is what uh is what the basic setup is going to be uh i've got bell um uh, this is this means uh red two seven stars okay uh eyes is you know five star but uh i'm still have not finished the tinta barrage so i'm going to be able to get him up probably to i would say i might be able to get him up to four red four okay i think i can get i think it, it I, th I think it's going to be red three but i'll have one emblem of him is what i think will probably end up coming out so red three is going to be the max her she'll be red one or a six star okay i might be able to get her up to red two it depends on how far i can get through with her tinted mirage because um, there's two tinted barrages running just for your information click on this um you've got this is the tinted barrage uh, tinted barrage for bell okay and you'll be able to get copies of bell inside of the uh 
the realm of sensor. Uh, his next copy um, is at, I'll be able to get him here. Okay. And I'll be able to get him at 1015. Uh, so I've already got this one. That one's sold out. Uh, there's those summons I was telling you about right here. See, they're in events, so you can get them. Uh, 1015, and I think he's at 1115. 10 and 1115, plus there's some more of those summons I was telling you about, uh, as well as some of these. Uh, I will probably, I'll, I'll, I should beat this. It's only nine days. Um, I'm already at, uh, I'm already up into nine, so uh, it's getting a little difficult, but I'll probably, I just haven't had time to focus on as much, primarily because there's another one going on. This is the one for eyes. Um, same thing. You know, it's difficult enough to get the time to do one of these. Now we're having to do two. So I'll have to buckle down on it this weekend um, when it gets close to the end and finally knock it out. Um, same with her. You can get a copy of her at seven. More sacred. There's more of those prophets. Summons us telling you about for the order characters. Uh, and you can get her at 10. More of those summons. And you get her at 11 as well. So, um, yeah, I'll be able to get her up. Uh, fairly decent, you know, enough that they're I mean, they're not going to be usable. I mean, you know, they're not. You know, you, you need. I, I need to get them at least. You know, I I'm not going to for me to to use them. I'm going to need to max them out um, because I have max team characters. I have a full max red team, uh, almost a full max light team. Uh, almost a full max dark team. So, I mean, it's like one or two characters and those are not quite max, but they will be eventually. Uh, this is the Order Chaos uh, chapter. Um, because I don't have Hestia, uh, I can't get... It, 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 I it can't stand him. He's too freaking powerful. Okay. Um, as you can see, I don't have a bad one. I got twos and uh, and a cash, uh, but I can't kill him. He, 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 right. You know, he just won't die. And then he, his snake eats you. <laughs> you watch his, watch his ultimate here. It's actually one of the coolest ultimates in the game. See, <laughs> unfortunately it's very damaging <laughs> and, and I can't get to him because I don't have what in this case, what you need is you need an attacker that goes to the back line and comes in from the back. Uh, I, don't have an ordering character that could do that. Uh, I'm in the process of starting to work on Char, um, which will help a little bit with Linux, but uh, that's a ways off yet. Um, so, but what you really want is this character, Fanny. If I had a Fanny type character in order and chaos, uh, that's what you want. Fanny goes to the back. She'll do a couple hits at the front and then she'll jump all the way to the back line and start taking out the, the healers and the mages. Uh, that's one of the reasons I maxed her out. It's, it's so quick. Um, uh, here's the best healer in the game. This is Nana. Okay, I'm almost fully maxed. Them. Fully maxing out is completing all the glory gems, completing all the, uh, of this, and getting them to eight with three Orle cards. So this is a fully maxed out character because it's got everything. Okay, and the second... This hero, she's probably the she's the, she's the protagonist, the bad guy, the bad girl. Okay, um, Alice, she is fully maxed out as well too. Okay, she's just a beast. Uh, when she procs her ultimate, she you know you usually win if she procs her ultimate once or twice. Um, but as you can see, and the rest, I've just got one here, one here, and not so. As you can see, my red team, my martial team, is in very good shape. Okay. Uh, and then I've got the others that are, you know, that they're fully maxed out, but I just haven't quite flushed them out yet. Um, instead, I've been focusing on specific characters, for specific teams, uh, like Valier here. Okay, so, and Nimbus of Dora. Uh, so, yeah, I've got, you know, I've got pretty good teams. So, it's it's really not that big of a deal um, in terms of what, you know, but it's just difficult as you can see I've got most eight is the max awakening as you can see uh, I've got a lot of characters uh, that I've gotten to eight for all the teams uh, and this is primarily because of the one uh, event that they have which is the Tower of Babel uh, this right here uh, 
as you proceed through the Tower of Babel and getting certain stats, that's an excellent way to get a steady stream of sacred souls for summoning for Linux. <laughs> okay. Um, you get these. Uh, each one of these, once, like when I get to 435, each one of these at 435 has these. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20. There's 25 sacred summons right there once I get to 435 uh, on all of these. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and it just, you know, focusing, but you can only use red characters. So this is a, an exclusively red uh, seems so as you can see this is my red team and it's all max like all the wakened uh, and you know but they're not you know uh, haven't got the there's three levels of awakening uh, the awakening and then emblems uh, or lake cards and then you got the glory gems uh, so and illumination so there's like three ways to actually after you get to max <laughs> awakening there's more to do so you have to go through all those layers but as you can see uh i have a fully maxed out uh, a fully awakened i should say uh marshall team uh so this is but you know primary but my main team that i use in the events is not this uh, i usually use uh, sylvana because she's one of the best uh, tanks in the game and i usually use alice because she does so much damage i'll probably be able to get to uh 435 with this team but yeah, it's, you know, so there's stuff that you can do inside of this. But yeah, this event is clearly, clearly pay to win. Uh, so get the character, log in, get the character. You get a free character when you log in. Uh, you get a copy of him. You won't get a copy of Hestia, but you'll get a copy of Eyes and Bell. And then hold on to them and see what they do. Uh, they might budge and offer uh, some way to actually level them up afterwards. It's probably not going to be easy. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how far they can go. I, it might have to do with copywriting and stuff. I don't know. But since they're offering them from a pay to win perspective, it, it would seem that copyright is maybe not an issue. Uh, that happened in the Bleacher Mortal Soul game uh, when they had a collab with uh, Burn the Witch. They were only allowed to use the characters inside of the collab and that's the only way you can get it but they set their collab up so that you could actually get the characters so we've got five more of these summons uh so now we can go to uh back to our wishing shrine on the city and we could summon uh five summons uh for lennox and probably not get her but you just keep summon, keep summoning for her. Plus, you get you get good rewards, so it's not like it's wasteful. You can hit the other rewards in there. Um, I would prefer that the proc for her to be a little bit higher uh, than there. I just got her again. So, but yeah, it, it it's a low proc rate, so you might have to go 30, 40 pulls before you actually hit her. Um, you can probably go longer, <laughs> uh, as you can see. Uh, it takes a while to get her, but you just keep working on it, you know. She is one of the best characters in the game, so uh, keep that in mind, uh, that you can get conceivably the best character in the game from a free-to-play perspective. I'm free to play. As I've said, I've spent 99 cents on this game when it first came out, and I did that purely because I was happy to find a AFK-type arena, uh, arena game uh, that was widescreen, so I could do it on my blue stacks <laughs> uh so i was just happy about that so i gave 99 cents <laughs> and i got leslie in the process uh she was the reward when i started the game i haven't spent anything after that on this game so um yeah and and so everything that you see here wise with these maxed out characters it's all free to play uh so yeah you know and that's what you do you build up a team get a good team a powerful team and then when the events come around, you take that powerful team, do well in the event, and you get one of the Order and Chaos copies. That's the way it goes. That's the way it is. Okay? So, um, I like it. It's a fun game. Uh, story's a little sparse, but the characters are awesome. Uh, and um, you, it involves strategy. Uh, but think about it. There's an elemental uh, buffs and whatnot. Utilize those to help you get through the game a little bit faster. Uh, if you lose a, a, a story mode, don't fret, try a different team or rearrange the characters, okay? Um, a lot of times just rearranging the characters and you'll be able to pass it.
Okay. So yeah, it's you know it's not hard, but it does take a little bit of. Once you get in the higher levels, it does take a little bit of strategy. But by the time you get to that level, you'll understand the way these characters work. I understand the way these characters work. I look at the battle. I lose a battle. And I see that the reason I lost the battle was because the healer was healing faster than I could do the damage to take him down. So I insert Fanny into the lineup. Fanny jumps to the back and kills the healer. You progress through the same. So it's things like that. Or I can see where the two front lines are breaking through my tanks. So I switch my tanks or put it in a new tank that has an elemental advantage against that character and they hold off and I'm able to win. So that's a, it takes a little bit of strategy, but by the time it gets to the point where you need to th start thinking like that, you'll understand the characters and you'll understand the game. Uh, so it's very, yeah, it's a very well done game. Uh, but yeah, they lost a lot of people with this event. Um, probably not enough to hurt them financially, but uh, it did got enough of their attention to give everybody uh, some of the free currency uh, as a, uh, you know, through the CD key. So CD key's in there. I'll show it to you one more time, just so you know it. Go to event, go to community, and it's right here. TRVRMU22295. I know, it's exceedingly long, but it gives you 20 of these. So it'll enable you to get another copy of either belt or eyes, whichever one you want to use. All right. So again, thanks all for watching. Remember to subscribe. Once you subscribe, you'll see the bell. Click on it. You get notified each time I drop a video. Also remember to like and share the video as that helps the channel immensely. It's Kenra coming at you from the corner, signing out.